Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you all trending news and information on things happening around the world. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. However, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, written in red, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon by its side so that you can get notification whenever a new story is published. Thank you and stay tuned. Stop making cheap political points with Shore's release. AGF Malami fires back at Falana. Abubakar Malami has replied Falana over his comments on the release of Shore and the former NSA Sambu Dansuki. Falana had blasted Malami for saying that Shuwere and Dasuki were released on compassionate ground. The minister, however, accused Falana of trying to make cheap political points with Shuwere's release. Abubakar Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, has accused human rights lawyer Femi Falana of attempting to score cheap political points with the release of the convener of the hashtag revolution now protest, Omoyele Shore from detention by the federal government. Reports were gathered that the minister, in a statement issued by his media aide, Umar Gwandu, on Monday, December 30th, accused human rights lawyer Femi Falano, who is Shore's lawyer, of concocting constitutional provisions for mischief. Further reports gathered that Malami said his intention or his attention was drawn to a letter purportedly written by Falano titled Re Why Federal Government Released Dansuki and Shogori. The letter or the, le the said letter was in response to a statement Malami issued on December 24th, wherein he explained the provisions and the reasons the federal government decided to release Shogori from his over four months stay in the Department of State Service custody. The minister had insisted that the release of Shore and the former National Security Advisor, Colonel Sambo Donsuki, retired, was on compassionate grounds and not fueled by pressure from any quarters. Falana, in a counter statement on Sunday, December 29th, carpeted Malami for claiming that he used his office to extend mercy to the two former DSS detainees. Falano argued that the minister had no power to release any person from custody on compassionate grounds. As you are, as you are no doubt aware, only the president and state governors are entitled to exercise the prerogative of mercy or release any convicted person on compassionate grounds by virtue of section 175 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, Falano had argued. But Malami accused him of twisting statutory provisions for mischief, adding that the initial reaction of the Office of the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation was to ignore the letter as it is replete with misinformation and envies lack of proper understanding of the law and issues implicated. He said, the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation has, however, decided to respond hitherto in order to clarify the issues involved in the overall interest of the public. First, it is beyond doubt that the federal government of Nigeria or any prosecuting authority has been vested with constitutional rights of appeal in criminal prosecutions. These rights extend to rulings on bills and rights to seek to, ver to very terms of bill, amongst others. Thus, in any circumstance where this right is waived by the prosecution, it can only be for valid reasons, including compassion, after all connected issues have been duly considered. It is further appalling to note that in a bid to gather media hype in condemnation of a valid governmental action taken in good faith and in the interest of the general public. Mr. Falano has resorted to quoting non-existing sections of the Constitution by stating that 
Mr. Malami San should have apologized to Colonel Dansuki retired and Mr. Shore in accordance with Section 326 of the 1999 Constitution. It is unfortunate that a senior member of the bar could resort to concussions and fabrications of non-existing provisions just to score cheap media publicity. All right, viewers and listeners, that's the news story so far. Uh, you can see that um, the human rights lawyer and uh, the lawyer, the lead lawyer to um, the leader of the hashtag revolution now, Omoye Leshewori, and the attorney general of the federation are now in a trade of words as to who is right on the reason why uh, Shewori was released uh, in line with uh, or with the former uh, national security advisor, Kondel Dasuki Sambo, retired. Well, I think it is glaring to the public eyes as to why Shewori was released. The pressure was just there. Because if the Attorney General of the Federation is denying that there was no pressure from any quarter to release um, Femi Falano, then he should explain the letters that were written by the United States government to the federal government and especially to his, to his office directly. And why was it that he did not act before now or before letters were written and sent to his office? He was there following up the issues uh, with uh, the DSS and Shogori and Colonel Dansuki retired has been in custody for over four years. So where was his compassion? when the national, former National Security Advisor was detained or kept in custody for over four years because he was in custody since 2015 when Buhari took over uh, government from Jonathan. So where was the, his compassion? Where was the constitution that he is claiming now that um, he only released um, uh, Shiwore and uh, Nasuki based on compassionate uh, or whatever? So where has been this compassion of his? All this while, why is it that, or why was it that they were not released before the pressures began to mount from several international communities, especially the United States government? Because we remember that Senator Menendez and some other senators, you know, did some press conferences and also wrote letters to the federal government, where we saw that the wife of uh, uh, Shore, you know, was meeting with United States officials seeking their intervention for her husband to be released. Shore was released and the next day, less than 24 hours, he was rearrested again. On what grounds? And there was no new charges that were filed. The general public has been following this particular issue. So why is it that uh, the government and uh, the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation is trying to twist the issue? I think it is the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation that is actually twisting things and not the human rights lawyer. Because we all know a uh, majority of the citizens of this country have been following these issues and uh, so many have actually spoken out and called for the release of uh, Shore on the social media, which the federal government had blatantly ignored. So it was on these grounds that the international community also stepped in, made several calls, made several, uh, wrote several letters, you know, and made several appeals that the rights of uh, every citizen must be adhered to and uh, that Democracy should be upheld. The rule of law should be upheld. So the Attorney General of the Federation and his advisors or from his office should not mislead the public in an attempt, you know, to discredit the efforts of Nigerians and the citizens who have called, who had called for the release of Shore uh, on different social media platforms, airing their voices and condemning the detaining, the detaining of the, the hashtag uh, revolution now, um, leader and other defendants that were also locked up. The truth of the matter is that under this present administration of the President Muhammad Buhari, a lot of things had actually gone wrong. You know, the rule of law has also been, you know, trashed into the dustbin, which should not be. Nigeria had gone down uh, in, in a negative light in the international community because of the actions by um, so many people that are related to this particular government. Well, the people, the masses can no longer be deceived. A lot of people know what is happening and know what is going on. So the truth, you know, 
is glaring to everyone who cares to see it the way it is. The Office of the Attorney General of the Federation did not release Shogore based on any compassion, the truth of the matter, and uh, what we believe, and what we see, and what we can conclude from all evidences and from all that we have seen, heard, read on the news is that uh, Shogore and Colonel Dansuki retired were both released based on the pressure from the international community and the citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria who had condemned the continued detention of uh, uh, Shogore in custody. All right, that's the news story so far. I'd like to hear from you what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Can you drop out the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are? And please do not forget to share this news story with friends, family, relations so that they can know what is going on. We appreciate your support and we thank you and wish you a happy listening. Thank you. Thank you.